So what value should we give into this field? Minus 1, minus 2, minus 5 or 6? The answer depends on the recording you have. We will see how to find the perfect value for normalization. Normalize means adjusting the gain. This line says Audacity will adjust the gain of the peak amplitude or the loudest part of the audio to the level you give here. Your final goal in normalization is to take the audio level between minus 12 to minus 6 in this meter. That is the sweet spot. In this range, your audio will be loud and consistent enough to hear comfortably. If you go above than that, your audio can become too much loud or may introduce distortion or clipping. I will use this sample to show the demo. This is the peak amplitude in the audio clip without any processing. If I play this, we see it is hitting just above minus 12, let's say minus 11. So if I set normalized value to minus 1 dB, this peak will reach here. So that is around 10 dB gain for the peak. In normalization, every part of the audio will get the same amount of gain as the peak. Even before setting the normalization value, we will be able to calculate where the playback meter will be for different parts of the audio. For example, if I play this beginning, it is hitting around minus 17 in the meter. So with 10 dB gain, it will become around minus 7. This noise at the beginning is around minus 40 dB. So it will become around minus 30 dB. Let's normalize now. I will set it to minus 1 and test if my calculation was correct. Let's play the peak. It is hitting minus 1 as I had set. Let's check the beginning. It is around 7 which I calculated. And now let's see the noise. Ideally you should get rid of this noise using noise reduction. I just kept that for demo purpose. It is around negative 30 and our calculation said so. If I play the audio it is above minus 6 most of the time and hitting the red region few times. Above just minus 6 is not a issue but you have to take care of these red things. Either you can apply a limiter or use a different normalization value which will be more suitable. I will undo this and try with negative 3. Two things you have to keep in mind. Most of the audio should be between minus 12 to minus 6 and nothing is in the red region. Minus 3 is more suitable value for this piece of audio. As I said earlier, you have to find the proper value based on the recording you have. Let me show you why I said that. I will undo the normalization and will delete the peak from here. So as that peak is gone, this audio becomes more equal in different parts. So I will normalize again with negative 3. This time it is close to minus 3 most of the time because this audio has a similar level in different parts and hitting the same level in the playback meter. With this type of equally leveled audio, normalizing with minus 1 becomes disastrous. Now most of the audio is hitting minus 3 and becoming red in the playback meter most of the time. So in this case you have to choose a value like minus 4 or minus 5. In ideal case you should use a compressor to make your audio even before normalize or you can use a limiter to control the high peaks after normalization. If you decide to use a limiter to control the high peaks, choose hard limit as the type. Because with a hard limit, no distortion or clipping will happen, it will act just as a deamplifier. I will publish a video soon on how to make the audio level equal using compressor. You will find it in the pinned comment. Also, it will appear on this screen. Thanks for watching and see you next.